Cancer, welcome back to Emperor's Life. It's me, Tony, back with your channel tarot message for today. We're going to get into your love energy to see what's currently surrounding you in love and romance and what's headed towards you in love and romance. What spirit wants you to know? So make sure you come into the video, liking the video and subscribing to the channel so that we can continue to grow the Emperor, the Ace of Bubbles. Ooh, woo. The Emperor showed up for... Um, <laughs> The Empress showed up for a Gemini's reading. So I don't know. Maybe you need to watch Gemini's reading today. Check your birth chart. <laughs> your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, no placements. Uh, let's see. And the videos are pretty short today. So maybe you can uh, watch multiple videos to get some additional clarification about what your romantic energies are. What's headed towards you in love. So let's get into it for you, for you Cancer. I'm getting Sir, <laughs> that last part of Cancer. Can I help you, Sir? <laughs> Why, yes, you can. Let's get into the messages. Messages for what assigned Cancer today, Spirit. What can you let Cancer know today? What's the message in regards to love and romance? I'm getting acceptance. All right. Messages for Cancer. All right, so, oh, it came up anyway, eight of bubbles. I saw eight of bubbles in your pre-shuffle. So walking away from a situation or detaching. It's also detoxing for me. It could be from drinking. The king of bubbles. Ooh, you're possibly dealing with a drinker or a swimmer or someone that stays near water or something like that. Now the, the roulette or the gambit, right? We have a storyteller, a singer, or a dancer. Um, seven of bubbles. This person is very mysterious, so they're very intuitive. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with a water sign like yourself. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Seems like you or this person has multiple options here. Mm. Lackluster options is what I'm getting with that eight of, uh, eight of bubbles. Because if someone is if someone is walking away from something, that means that situation, person, place, or thing can't lock that person down. Death. So yeah, this could definitely be detoxing from um, like bad things, like fast food, or maybe this is someone that was recently sick, or someone that's coming towards you needing some sort of a cure. Right? Remember the story of Isis and the seven scorpions. Right. Um, but yeah, a lot of intuition here. Death is representative of Scorpio, Major Arcana. Literally the one zodiac sign that houses death in its body, poison. This could also be strong sexual chemistry, which leads to a strong um, energetic or uh, psychic connection that you have with someone. Six of Storms. Yeah, again, a mental release. Now, this could be mental instability, like some sort of a... Because um, you're getting... First of all, you're getting psychic potential in here in Seven of Bubbles which is like mysteriousness, a smoke screen, right? Then you're getting death, right? Where Scorpios are very, they have a lot of mental prowess, butterflies. And then someone's seeking a mental reprieve, right? A vacation or something like that. So there's something definitely going on with the mental here. I'm pretty sure there's several love songs that talk about how the person's going crazy in the head thinking about this love situation or whatever love situation they feel attached to. Four storms. <laughs> Yeah, so someone's definitely uh, seeking out a reprieve, um, sleep, or a relaxing moment. They're possibly reflecting on this situation as well. So this is what's coming towards you. We have literal death here. So you could be dealing with death or you're dealing with the memories of someone that passed or relationship or a uh, situation that made you go through some sort of a transformation. Um, the six of bubbles yeah this is an apology so if someone done you wrong in the past this is an apology headed towards you mm -hmm. the six of bubbles is also a cure it's also a uh, past or like um relationship from the past that sort of thing or memories even yeah someone's stuck in their head a lot mm -hmm. this could be mm. What is this? With the only major arcana of death. It's definitely a transformational period. So you're dealing with some sort of a clairvoyant or an intuitive here. 
that may be energetically attached to you. With this being a love and romance reading, they're possibly coming towards you to deliver you some sort of a message in regards to love. Or um, this person could have some sort of a mental illness. Now, a mental illness could be anything, right? It, it could be someone angry for the moment, right? That's, that's <laughs> mental illness or emotional illness or someone being delusional about something here. Now this person could very well be healed as well, because again, I'm getting a lot of a lot of this energy is coming from this person's past, or well, this could be your past, right? Maybe you've healed from the past, or went through some sort of a spiritual transformation, some sort of a spiritual awakening, or this is the person that's coming towards you. They're very spiritual, or they, or they went through some sort of a rebirth here. Yeah, they were able to detox, detox from detox from karmic cycles, get the rest they need. It's like they went to some sort of a eight of bubbles, six of swords, with the four of swords. It's like they went to some sort of a retreat or maybe they did this to themselves. They isolated themselves or decided to go on some sort of a healing journey, right? Death comes in, the transformation, um, taking out uh, old cycles and starting something new here. So, now, what I am getting in this per is that this person has a whole lot more power than they had before. They're the king of bubbles now, whether this is a masculine or a feminine. So someone with emotional intelligence, strong intuition, maybe they had to go through a breakup or people thinking or talking sideways to them in order for them to you know realize that hey i gotta do stuff for myself become more accountable and build their own foundations right they don't necessarily have to beg for people's uh, forgiveness or beg for people's love right once they develop it in themselves now people come towards them begging it and seeking it right once you have the power then you can decide whether you want to let someone in the door or share it with them here i'm getting the um the image of like the the myth of vampires or energy vampires right they can't coming to your house unless you give them permission right so this is what you have coming towards you so some sort of a strong uh, intuitive or someone that uh, went on some sort of a self-help or self-love journey they went through some sort of a rebirth you could definitely be dealing with death as well in the situation so watch out for that as well i don't know if someone's trying to poison someone but that's what i have for you here today make sure to like share and subscribe add value to the channel yeah watch your home because Last night when I was in the shower, getting into the water, all of these bubbles showing up in this reading, um, there was a, was it a centipede or a millipede? It was actually in my bathroom. And I watched this thing crawl. <clears throat> I didn't want to kill it, right? I watched this thing uh, crawl all through my bathroom as I was in the shower. <laughs> well, before I got in the shower. And after I got out of the shower, it, it, was, it was gone. It disappeared, right? Pretty sure it didn't disappear, but no longer to be seen. And I was just like, what the hell? A centipede or a millipede? So again, let the reading resonate how it resonates. Catch you guys on the next one, Cancer. Peace. Here it goes again. Here the bubbles.